Hello, and welcome to part three, or episode three, of my Alan Wake playthrough. We are right now in episode one, part three, or chapter C, or whatever, called Waking Up to a Nightmare. That is actually what it's called. And this is going to be the first, like, real, you know, episode. Or not episode. Oh, well, yeah, episode. The first real level, too. Among Alice's Things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book, he just looks like a douchebag. Alice, I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover. Me either. either, me either, Alan. So check it out. The gas station was my best bet. That's what we're trying to get to right I now. Use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Better yet, but why are we waking up on the mountainside with a crashed car? What is going on? Well, I guess we're about to find out, aren't we? Let's go ahead and continue. Damn. Oh god. Oh boy. I'm actually really excited for uh, this episode because, you know, like I said, it's our first reel. This is going to be a long one. It's probably going to be like a half hour, 45 mi like minutes or something, but we're going to be collecting everything in this area. So we have a lot of shit to collect, too. Might I add. Hello? Someone there? Hello? <laughs> the loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I So here we go, we're getting our first two uh, manuscript pages. Started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. He wrote these, by the way. Seen on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. And what you can do is you can go ahead and press back to uh look at this. by Alan Wake. The man turned to face me. His face was the man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. He glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. Sorry, Alan Wake, you read that way too slow. I had to pick it up. I had to pick up the pace. So the next item we're going to get is actually a Nightmare Manuscript page. So if you're not playing on Nightmare... Anybody there? Whoa. Please, I've been in an accident. If you're not playing in Nightmare mode, uh, you're not going to be able to access it. I just want to warn ya. I just want to warn ya. Warn ya. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Oh. I think I might have passed it. Let me see what this is. Which one this is, that is. No, no, this is the... That's the nightmare one. Okay. Good to know. Cool. Barry took another sip of the heavenly coffee. He grinned at Rose. Surely this was love. <laughs> Rose gushed on breathlessly. Oh, be a masterpiece of no, you must tell him not to listen to the trolls in the forum saying departure will never get finished. I don't think I'm gonna, I'm definitely not gonna read all those. I'll let you read all those. Unless they're a nightmare. I guess I'll read it for you if it's a nightmare. I'll let you see it if it's a, uh, a nightmare manuscript. I think I can dig that. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and climb this log and hop back here. Woo! We have another manuscript page and a coffee thermos actually to find in this little area hey hey you failed there's been an accident i need help this it i need hey you cabins for rent in oh hell carl stucky oh hell thank <laughs> you non reservation reservation deposit required what the fuck? Alright, so who's this? Who did you just kill? He killed that guy, McGee. That's all I can come up with for that name. Uh, what do we have here? Here's the coffee thermos. Good. Good. Oh, in his little logging area. He's, I think he's running around on top of these things. There's the manuscript page. Nice. Got them both. The taken stood before Wake me. fights with a taken or fights a taken with light. Oh Jesus. 
It's a close call. Oh god, ow! <laughs> what the hell was that? Gasoline jug? I'm assuming. I don't know. Oh god. Oh shit. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Like Nicholson in The Shining. Oh, look at that. How convenient. A flashlight and a gun. We now have defense against these monsters. Look at these batteries. His revolver ammo. Trying <gasps> a phone. He's just like goblining yes. around outside. Sheriff Station. Sheriff Station. Oh God. Oh God. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. See, so, yeah, we need to get the fuck out. Because, uh, that's what's gonna happen if you don't. And there it goes. Last chance to get out. Right now. Okay, you're dead. If you stayed in it, you're dead. You are dead. Dude. Dude. Okay, so I think we're actually about to get our first, um, like, crate. Whoa, why did that open from that side? Oh, God. We have this. This little defense light here that we can use. Yeah. That dude just got his ass whooped. So, yeah, um, throughout the game there's going to be these little lights here that you can turn on. and They kind of just, like, help you. Like, they defend. So if they walk in the light, it helps you, uh, you know, take them out and stuff. That's a very sparky thing. So here we go. This is an arrow. <laughs> I, I bet you, like, no shit, Brian, that's an arrow. But uh, the thing about these arrows is you follow them, and they lead you to these crazy, like, supply crates that have all kinds of shit in them. And here's our first one. Make sure you know the symbol, so you're going to find out later who's uh, putting that symbol there and who's leaving these chests for you. A flare gun, too. It's only one shot, but that's a pretty good uh, start. It's a decent, you know, thing. Let's go ahead and grab this ammo, too, while we're at it. I like Nightmare Mode because it, it makes it's a lot harder. It makes it feel a lot more survival-esque. You're using a lot more ammo and resources, you know. I don't know. I like it. Just take that chainsaw. The dark uh, forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get I to had no station. choice. Alan Wake. Uh no choice. Oh, shit. So these guys are the the like mid grade bad guys, I guess you could say. They take about four hits. Later on we're gonna see these smaller quick ones that take like two, and then of course even larger ones that take up to like eight. Something like that. But uh I believe this is a nightmare. Yeah. Um no no it's not a nightmare. Rose knew she had been gushing. Rose daydreams about Wake. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, anyway. We got that. Let's go ahead and head down here. I think that can actually hurt you. That lightning or whatever thing. The electricity flowing through that wire. We're about a third of the way through this area now. I want to say. Albeit the the first area is not, or the first third of this place is not too action packed. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my something head. Uncoiled itself I realized inside. that I'd have to find a way Ooh. across. I didn't even want to look. Don't get me all hot and bothered, Alan. So we're gonna grab this coffee thermos over here. Whoa. Bugging out. And then um. There's a manuscript page or two over here. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Continue progressing along these rocks and logs and stuff. Things. Wait, I see something. I see something over here. 
I don't think this is the way we have to go, which means, yep, there's a manuscript page. Manuscript page! Barry Wheeler was Another non-nightmare, so you can pick that up. I gotta figure out a better way to... I, actually, I think I can just press back to resume, so let's... I should, I should probably start doing that now that I think about it. But whatever. Oh, God. What the fuck was that? Behind you! Ma! Ma! <laughs> Stucky was still out Whatever, Stucky. In the dark. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of nobody. So we can get this ammo and batteries if we need it. Lithium. Lithium batteries last, uh, or you get double the amount. You get four battery. Or four lightning bolts worth of batteries. Uh, compared to two, which is the normal. Manuscript page right here. And it's a nightmare. For a long time, the dark presence... Oops. For a long time, the dark presence had been weak. Sleeping nothing but a half-forgotten nightmare or a shadowy flicker in the corner of an eye in the forest of night. Not real enough to properly exist, and yet too evocative to fade away completely. Now it was waking up the writer like a fly caught in a spider's web, each jerk and kick vibrating the strands that led deep into its lair. It was aware of him now, and it, I could, it, it could use him. All he needed was a little incentive. It's deep shit, man. So yeah, I'll show you all the Nightmare Manuscript pages. I'll read those out for you. But, uh... Oh god. The regular ones are on your own. That's just way too many. I think there's like already 26 Nightmare ones. Or something. That's some skill right there. <laughs> I got really focused. That was intense. Quick draw, McGraw. Make Alan Wake. Um, there is a there's a chest around here somewhere. Maybe it's beyond. Uh, it's up here a little bit. Probably. Probably just getting way too ahead of myself. Oh my fucking god! Will you get up there? God. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, it's like up here. It's over here. I'll sneak you. I think you have to get on the logs, actually. There's, yep, there we go, cool. There's the arrows. Nice! So this is kind of a very well-hidden one. I remember first playing this game, I actually... I got quite a few of the uh, items. I didn't get... I don't know, I got, like, probably half of all the collectibles. And then I went back and redid it, and, like, had a guide and everything, and finally did it. The Taken, the taken. are filled with darkness. The taken. So that's what they're called, the Taken. Probably should have mentioned that earlier. And arrows keep pointing in here, and cool. We got ourselves another chest. With a bunch of lithium batteries. Woo! This is like level one though, so they don't wanna they don't wanna give you too much badass stuff quite yet. Gotta wait on it. I think I'm gonna do the Alan Wake uh, American Nightmare as well after uh, after this. So I already have Banjo Tooie that I need to take care of, which is gonna be fun. Oh, I can't wait for Banjo Tooie. It's gonna be such a good time. I haven't played that game in like two years. I play Banjo Kazooie a lot more often, so Banjo Tooie's. I mean, I like Banjo Kazooie a lot more. I actually, just finished the playthrough of that uh, here very recently. This was actually my first playthrough I've done. This is my second. Way up some other way. Some other way? But what other way? I don't know, let's grab some revolver ammo and some lithium batteries. Alright. So now we gotta figure out how to activate all this shit. Uh... Oh, there we go. There was no oh, man. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Alright, so now we gotta look for a generator to turn on that light. Oh, what do you know? All the way back here, huh? I feel like there's a catch. Oh god. It's an ambush. <laughs> I knew it. Alright, so this introduces the uh, smaller guys, which are these little quick dudes. And they are dead. Oh no, that was not the quick dude. Never mind. I apologize. Ugh! Ugh!
Oh god. <laughs> this is very intense. Close quarters with three. Three of these guys. They take a lot of hits. Four is a lot of hits. When you're like pressured like that. But uh, here's the generator, by the way. I think there is actually... Yeah, we can go in here. Cool. Grab a manuscript page. And what is this? Oh, a shotgun. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Shotgun, baby. With all this forestry, um, I heard them before. Wake attacked by birds. Around, Interesting. There had to be something I could use to reach the top. There we go. Reach the path above. I'm already working on it, man. Come on. I'm about to activate that switch right now. And then we got the light right here that we can hang out in if you need to. Just like post up over here, just be like, this is my domain. My domain. I hang out here in this shed. My domain. It's probably, I would, I'd post up here if it was like an apocalyptic, like, darkness thing going on. I could post up there. Got a light, a generator, a shed, a shotgun. Very short on ammo, though. I don't know how that would go. Probably wouldn't last too long. Okay, so we have to go ahead and move the log. Uh, lift. You just want to put it right in the center there, nice and easy. There's a coffee thermos there, flickering as you can see. Very nice, very nice. So uh, let's go ahead and just kind of look over here for a second. Where there it is. Here we go. Um, I think there is a can pyramid around here somewhere. I want to say, is it up there? I think it is up here on the table, right? Pretty sure it's up there on the table. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's go ahead and climb up here real quick. I don't think we'll get stuck, like, we made too much... I, I don't think it'll be the thing where you make too much forward progression and the game's like, nope, can't go back. Yeah, it's up there, cool. Alright, nice. Thought so. So yeah, that's everything down there after grabbing that coffee thermos. We are A-OK. -okay. But we want to head over here real quick and uh, shoot out this can pyramid. Just kind of take care of that. That sucks. If you don't have any bullets, you can't knock them down. You're just like, fuck, I can't knock this can pyramid down. I don't have any bullets. It's the only way to do it in this game. Shotgun ammo. And our second radio. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh Pat air. Main. And what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around... You're still up and around. I'm Pat Main. Alright, I'm not going to stay here and listen to this. I don't think that'll go very well. Um, ooh. Someone's leaving little marks. What do we have here? Arrows. Could this be a third chest? It is a third chest. Nice. Well done. More flare gun stuff. So it's two shots for our flare gun, six for our shotgun, and I have 26, or 20, <laughs> 26, 27 rounds for my revolver, so I don't know how you're looking. But I'm looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and grab this next manuscript page up here. Sorry, I have to make sure I'm not skipping any of the collectibles or anything. So we have one, two, three, four more missing pages to get. Cool. So there's actually going to be a coffee thermos coming up. The gas station yeah. was closer now. It's light welcome. Yeah. The it's actually been a little while. It's probably been like a month since I played this game, so I'm trying to catch back up. Who's that? Who's there? So you don't have to worry about all that area back there right now, because, uh... Oh, God. thought enemies were going to come up and, like, get me. They're going to get me. Safe haven. Woo! This is a safe haven. There's the gas station. We're almost there. We're getting there. We're wrapping around the mountain. It's going to take a little while. It's going to be kind of hectic. Is this the path? Yes, yeah, the path. 
have no idea what's going on. Oh god. That's the cool thing about this game is like, it puts a lot of pressure on you really quick. But it warns you of it. It like warns you. It's like, dude, there's a guy right here. Behind you. You're fucked. Dodge the shit out of that, guys. Thrown projectile weapon. Did it again. This guy can't touch me. I'm too good. Too good, homeboy. I got skills. Alright, so we got another. Good to grab another manuscript page. Hooray. I think there's actually a coffee thermos around here somewhere that I don't want to end up missing. Is it over here? Nope. Just bad guys. Oh god. Knew there was a second one. <laughs> oh god. Damn it. <sighs> Fuck. Let's try not to die. Like at all. But that's really hard to do. It's actually good that we're back here because I'm pretty sure I skipped a uh a uh, coffee thermos of some sort. Over here. Yeah, there it is. I knew it. I knew it was along the cliff somewhere. Jesus Christ. Okay. More bad guys. Want to be bad guy like and whatnot. Shit. Yeah, get out of here. It's game over. Okay, cool. So we got that coffee thermos. We already grabbed the manuscript page. Let's continue. Uh, I wonder if you can hear the gunshots in the game. Oh, wait. I guess it doesn't save the manuscript page for me. Huh. Interesting. Here we go. Oh, what the fuck, man? God. Why would you do something like that? Alright, now I can just focus on your ass. Let's take him out. Let's keep heading on up this hill. Let's keep, keep on heading on up this hill. So this is a safe haven. Look at that. Nice. Some light. We can heal. We got a little little safety box here. Revolver ammo. Batteries. Just what I need. Not really, but whatever. I don't take it. Uh, I think there's a... Isn't there a... Let me see, actually, yeah. I think there is actually something over here. Maybe not. Maybe it's up there. Yeah, never mind. I don't know why I came back here. I have to deal with these douchebags. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. I'm just gonna run. We can get to the light. Go, Ellen, go. Ah, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to. Do, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to play anymore. God, I'm so slow right now. All right, so this is a good example of showing you how to retreat to a light to get rid of enemies. So that was fun. Oh God. Apparently they they were there the whole time. They wait. I never do that. It's good. It's good that we're figuring shit out. Oh my god. All right. It actually might be the loot crate or whatever it might be a little bit further in here. Like, see, I don't want to jump down there because then I don't think I can come back. Looks like I might have to though. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, cool. I'm glad I saw that. Sweet. Okay, so it is over here. So I just did a bunch of unnecessary bullshit, essentially. Flare gun. Flare gun in it. I should probably use my flare gun and shotgun since I have them. Don't want them to go to waste. 
I don't know. Oh boy. Caution. Proceed at your own risk. Logging area ahead. Da, 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 da. So yeah. About to enter the main logging area right here. It's a nice manuscript page on the ground waiting for us too. How lovely. Oh god. Okay, so these are the quick guys. This is an introduction of the really quick dudes. And they only take two shots because they're very weak. But they are super quick. Unless you take out their uh, darkness, then I don't think they're very fast anymore. I think they're only one hit, uh, or one shot with a shotgun. I don't know. Let's go ahead and head in here, though, and we're actually going to get our first television while we're in here. It's our first television collectible, so... Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Ooh, we are just ready for our shotgun. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. Night Springs. It's kind of like a, uh... It's like a spoof of, uh, Twilight Zone. Alan Wake was a writer. Alan Wake was a writer for it, too. So that's why that's in that. That's why it's relevant. But uh, anyway, so we hit that switch. I kind of zoned there for a minute. I was like, whoa. I've never actually really watched an episode of those. Um, the cabin on Cauldron Lake? Like Lies of the Sheriff. Ooh, I wonder what that could be all about. Let's go ahead and use this. Oh, that's all. This just turns that off. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, so let's continue into the logging area. Here's a bunch of handgun ammo. And batteries if we need it. There's actually a there's a coffee thermos around here somewhere. I'm gonna get it. Stucky needs to calm the fuck down. Real talk. Wait, you're not Stucky. You're not Stucky either. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Woo. It was intense. I probably should have busted out the uh probably should have busted out the flare gun instead, but whatever. Aha. Oh god. Oh, is that that stucky right there? I think. Pretty sure that's stucky. Let me get out in the open. I need to grab this coffee thermos, is what I need to do. Where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> I was like, it was just over here. Just saw it. There he is. Owned. One hit. Stucky's body vanished. Get the fuck out of here, Stucky. Only a lifetime of Who are you? Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. Okay, well, anyway, now that that's all done and over with. It sucks because you actually don't get to, con like, keep your weapons and items once the level ends. Which, actually, no, you know what? I like that. I do like that a lot. You don't get to keep them. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Yeah, deer, it's for uh, Deerfest, which is like an annual event that goes on here at Bright Falls. I don't know. We have a ton of collectibles to get in the gas station, too. I'll just point that out for you. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. Felt comforting. At least for a moment. The same world reasserted itself. Let's just go ahead and grab this one. Stucky taken. Stucky spat in the garage. Wait, I forgot to read this one. TV in the I gas station. The gas station. I did forget to read that one. <coughs> so we have one left and it's a nightmare. 
uh, main escapade. Cool. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Ooh. So Alan Wake missed an entire week. I had to get inside the gas station to find time. a phone to call for help. But whatever. Uh, we're going to go ahead and head over here. It's either this end or the other end has a coffee thermos. Oh, it's this end. Nice. We're going to have to fight some enemies, though, so just a heads up. Boom! <laughs> Bitch. Alright. Like I said, we're almost done uh, with the level, and I'm just going to start using my stronger weapons while I have them. Make this uh, fly a bit easier. Hopefully. Let's get it, huh? Ow. Oh god. <laughs> I didn't think he would charge me. I was like, I'm gonna rush him. Beat him down with a flashlight, and then he was like, yeah, well, I'm rushing you. Okay. And there's the other coffee thermos, yeah. Forgot to grab that guy. I was like, I know there's two of them around here. Fuck. Woo! Oh boy, this is getting intense. I get like really quiet when enemies come on. I'm just like shit. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so we got our two coffee thermoses. There's, oh, there's so much shit to do in here. I want to make sure I get all the collectibles. I don't want to forget one. I don't think. You know, no. Let's just go down here anyway and explore it. There actually might be something down here. I don't want to miss out on it. Or not. Well, there's absolutely... There's absolutely nothing down here. Yeah. Okay. Well, now you know, so you don't have to waste your time. Oh god. Oh god, there's too many of them. Fuck! I can't believe I missed that. Ah. Uh, oh my goodness. I have to do all this again. <sighs> Fucking A. Comforting. At least for a moment. The same world Such bullshit. That's cool though, now I know not to go down there, because then you'll just get your ass beat. Apparently. So, manuscript page. Coffee thermos. And coffee thermos. And then besides those, uh, there's a TV, a Nightmare Manuscript page, and I think a poster? Maybe? I don't know, I'll have to... I'll have to wait till we get back to the, uh, oh god, <laughs> the gas station area. Figure it out. Bitch. What you got? What you got? Raincoat guy or whatever. Whatever you're wearing. Douchebag. I just don't want to go into the gas station because as soon as we go in there, it might end the uh might end it for us. You know. I'm not trying to be that guy that that ruins it. Fuck, I knew he was coming around too.
Oh god. Ugh. All right. Woo. Jesus Christ. I had to get inside the gas station to find a phone to call for help. Yeah, we know that. The deer fest had been two we weeks away too. when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, All right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Oh, God. Right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. You're freaking out, Alan. See, so, yeah, that's Alan, by the way. That's just Alan doing things. Yeah, it is a poster or a picture. The 68th Annual Deer Fest, September 15th through the 18th. Games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contests, and surprise competitions, live music. For the children, Bucktooth Charlie. That's the, uh, you'll see him next, well, yeah, I think next episode or something. Bucktooth Charlie, afternoons in Montgomery the Mystic's amazing Phantasmagoria. Evenings. Don't miss, miss the legendary Deer Fest parade. Alright, we'll make sure not to do that. All right, and um, no, we're missing a page, aren't we? Yeah, there's a nightmare. I said that earlier too. I don't think we got it. Let's go grab that real quick, and then we'll end the episode. Finally, God, this was rough. Is there a nightmare. Bam! Knew it. Knew it. Toby, knew the, Toby the dog. Toby knew the smell. It was the man. The nice man who always gave him treats and never got tired of playing with him. Toby wagged his tail in excited anticipation and gave a joyous bark. Then there was another smell. A wrong smell. And it was alien enough to stop Toby in his tracks. Confused, he growled deep in his throat. The wrong smell came from the nice man. Blind animal terror pierced the dog's brain an instant before the axe followed suit. Aww. Aww. Yeah, that, you actually see that later on. Well, not see it, but it's like, it's later on. It happens later on. All right, let's find a phone and get out of here. All right. Uh, whoops. This side. Okay, cool. Boop, 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 boop. Right ball, sheriff station. Officer Lady. Sheriff Sarah Breaker. You are I'm Alan Wake. But listen. Sheriff Sarah Breaker. My wife Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the seventies. <laughs> Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Yeah, I did. Bad are knock you okay? to the head. Listen, <laughs> we'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station. Okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? Oh, yeah, about Unless Stucky. I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. I would have been like, no, I don't know who you're talking about. Stucky, what a stupid name. Sounds like a douche. Where did it go? Yeah, so um, about 40 years ago, this island, or 30 or 40 years ago, the island sank into the into it because it's called Cauldron Lake because it's super hot and stuff. It's like kind of volcanic. So we're gonna go ahead and end the episode right here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the the video, please. Leave me a like. Uh, if you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. We're going to go ahead and finish this playthrough. So, My name is Brian. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.